When the DFL party won historic majorities in both the House and Senate, some wondered if they could hold their coalitions together and get any major bills passed. So far, the answer is yes. They've passed historic legislation, including two major bills that could be signed by Governor Walls in the next couple of weeks. Here's Esme Mer. The DFL has a trifecta over in St. Paul. They control both houses of the legislature and, of course, the governor's office. Now, this doesn't happen very often. Back in 2014, it did, and the legislature passed gay marriage and all-day kindergarten. But then the DFL stumbled getting other major legislation through. Internal party squabbling between Governor Mark Dayton and DFL legislators stalled other bills. This year, the DFL Senate has a majority by just one senator. In the House, there are 19 new DFL members. In the Senate, 14 members are new. In an unprecedented show of unity, the DFL has kept both House and Senate DFL coalitions together, and the result is already an historic progressive agenda. One of the groundbreaking pieces of legislation, driver's licenses for all, including for undocumented residents. Governor Walz is expected to sign that bill as soon as this week. The Senate author is one of those new members. Senator Sineb Mohammed of South Minneapolis is at 25, the youngest woman ever elected to the state Senate. Senator Mohammed was a guest on WCCO Sunday morning. First of all, I'm an immigrant. And so this community is my community and I relate to them. Obviously, I'm an immigrant that is a citizen that is documented, but there are so many folks like myself who come here to make their lives a little bit better and easier. And they don't have simple things like, dry, like a way to get to work or school. And we can do that. We have the power to do that. Other major bills already passed this legislative session. The PRO Act, making abortion rights state law. Another bill requiring Minnesota utilities to operate carbon-free by 2040. And another bill that could get signed this week, restoring convicted felons' voting rights. It's not clear yet if the DFL lawmakers will be able to stay united on universal background checks and red flag laws for gun owners, as well as paid sick leave, legalized marijuana, and rebate checks for taxpayers. As May Murphy, WCCO 4 News. You can watch WCCO Sunday morning with Esme Murphy and Joseph Dames every Sunday morning at 6 and 1030.